when I was like 11, Diary of a Wimpy Kid was like the shit. Like we would read that during recess. We would watch the old movies. I think we showed some of them in school too. Um, and like, it was like everything to us. Like us middle schoolers, that was like, it was written for us. Like we really liked that when I was a kid. Um, it was like the big thing. Um, and now I, I don't know how relatable it is because I'm in college. Um, but as a college age person, not sure it works very well. Diary of a Wimpy Kid was released in 2021. It was written by Jeff Kinney, who also wrote the books, and it was directed by Swinton O. Scott III. Uh, so I watched this movie this morning, uh, in, in school, actually. Um, and uh, so first I should mention, it's only 58 minutes. It is an hour long, that's it. Uh, but for some reason, it feels pretty long. Like, it feels like an hour and a half. Um, and I don't think it's because the story is bad, because the story is still fine. Like, it still works as a story. It is still kind of relatable. I can see it's still very much relating to middle school life in general. It is very much a realistic kind of movie for children. And it is uh, fully animated this time. There were some animated parts in the original uh, live action versions, but this is entirely animated. And the animation looks nice. It's fluid. Um, I like how they go from 2D to 3D pretty quickly. Um, they're very, very book accurate, like if you liked reading the books because you liked the art in the books, this is very much the same kind of style and it looks pretty cool. Uh, the voice acting is just fine, uh, nothing stood out to me as spectacular, uh, which is kind of how I can rate this film, is like, it's just, it's not spectacular. It is solidly medium rare, it is nothing special and nothing bad. And I think a lot of that has to do with my perspective, uh, which is from a, an adult, I am an adult in college, and do I still relate to some of these things? I absolutely do. Like, I, I understand what it's like to be the odd one out. I understand what it's like to be kind of the nerdy, kind of weird person. Um, and uh, my thing that I did, instead of what uh, Greg Heavily did here, I leaned full into that. That's like who I am now, and I love it. Um, but here, it's, it's about them trying to acclimate to middle school life. And there's a couple unrealistic things to that, right? Like, first of all, Everyone else who is joining middle school is in the same boat, which I think most people don't really recognize when they're in the stage of middle school Is like there are others just like it And I feel like they should have shown more of that because of course they had the weird guy Fregley I think his name was um, who definitely is relatable to Greg himself and, and while they don't they, he refuses to see that it is true And I wish there was a little bit more of the friendship side of things um, and I will say the end of this movie is rushed to like, it's like Lightning McQueen fast. Uh, we go from like, they are not friends and they don't like each other to like, the end of the book in like a second. And it does give me a little bit of whiplash too, like it is not easy to navigate how that goes. It is very much like, the movie's done and you're like, whoa, like that was very fast. Um, a lot of things worked, a lot of things were directly from the book. Uh, there are a lot of things from the book that were kind of missed out, I think. Um, but I could be messing them up for like Roderick Rules and all that stuff, I'm not sure. Um, this, I like how they made it a movie instead of a Disney Plus original show, because this would not work as a show, they'd be way too long. Um, it could work as like a web series, maybe 15 minute shorts, but I think the movie does work. I think the hour long was a reasonable length. Um, I do kind of hope they make more just because I want to see where they go with it. I don't particularly care to watch them, but I will. Uh, the next one in theory would be Roderick Rules, I believe was the second book. Uh, and also I believe my favorite book as a child. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, overall, I mean, it's not, it's, it's not spectacular. It's not at all, in my opinion, going to be nominated for like Oscars or anything, which at this point in December, we are definitely seeing a lot of Oscar nominated stuff coming out. It's like everyone's pushing to be nominated. We got West Side Story. Um, I mean, even Spider-Man No Way Home kind of feels like it might want one. Um, we got Don't Look Up. We've got The Matrix 4, which special effects. Uh, I'm excited to see what they do with that. Uh, the Kingsman. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of stuff coming out that is very popular and high in the profile. And then there's also a lot of lower stuff like don't look up, which I think is definitely going to win some stuff. Spencer came out recently, Belfast. Um, and so it's nice to watch something kind of relaxing, but it's not going to be nominated for Best Animated Picture. If it does, I'll be very shocked. Um, but I really, I doubt it. I truly do. Um, I'm not even sure if it would count as a film uh, in the Oscar run anyway, because it's only an hour long and it is only on a streaming platform. But we'll see. But I'm going to go ahead and give Die of a Movie Kid a C+. Plus. C plus is middle of the road, average, nothing special, nothing bad. It's just kind of a movie that I don't. I, I saw, I watched, and 
I'm never gonna watch again because it's solidly middle of the road. Have you guys seen Diary of Wimpy Kid? Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about it. Um, it is available only on Disney Plus. So if you had Disney Plus, check it out if you're interested. If you don't, then don't, I guess. But you probably have access to Disney Plus. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you guys are interested in more reviews and stuff, definitely subscribe. I got stuff coming out all the time. And join me on New Year's Eve from 1 to 9 Eastern Standard Time as I do my 200 subscriber live variety show that you're not going to miss. So subscribe so you don't miss that. And as always, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated and I'll see you guys in the next video.